Welcome again at Automotive Engineers Corner. Let's talk today about the process, a basic definition of a process. What is a process? We talked about a project already. Let's talk about the process. Process is very simple. It's a set of activities that having that are having a goal to achieve an output and they have as well an input. I will just show you two uh, forms or two definitions or two forms how can we uh, <clears throat> very simply um, show the process and in the other uh, videos in the next videos I will explain uh, more and more in detail the processes. So a process, a process is a set of activities First, we need to have a supplier of something. This is a supplier. Then we have an input. Input, it's something that will be processed. So where supplier, it's a person, for example, um, uh, or a factory or a company which is supplying, for example, a product which will be processed. So this supplier as a uh, as an entity, as a person, we can say, is supplying a product. Let it be a spring and let us say another supplier will supply to the same input will supply a plastic part. Then we have the process. Then we have the steps of the process. Step one, step two, step three. We will not get into details now, but the thing is very simple. Let's put a step four. These steps can have sub-steps. Substep 1, substep 2, substep 3, substep 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. This can be 1, 2. So here something is happening. So this goes like this. So this input is processed in uh, operation number 1, then operation number 2, 3, and 4, and then it goes to the output. Let us say the output will be this spring and this plastic part assembled together. Up, this is our output. And this output goes to our client. So this is the definition of the process, so-called CPOC model. Supplier, input, process, output, client, CPOC. Another definition of a process, which we can use as well, is the so-called turtle model, which is actually just another notation how we can, uh, how we can see the process, how we can describe a process. A turtle model, how you can already imagine, there is a body of the turtle and this is the process. The tail of the turtle, well, this will be the input. The head of the turtle will be the output. Well, if you want, this can be the head of the turtle and this can be the tail of the turtle. This is a, um, up to your imagination. And then the turtle has the four legs. First leg is what? With what can the process will... Uh, with, with what? With what uh, things? This process can be realized. So here will be all the tools, 
um, all the materials and so on. So this is this input. The, the input is here. Here actually is not an input. Here is um, uh, the resources. The resources. Then we have who. We need to have a. We need to have people that will do realize the process. Then the next one is how. Actually, how we should do it. And then the next uh, leg of a turtle will be KPIs, key performance indicators. So some kind of, some kind of uh, um, parameters that need to be there, that needs to be measured so that we can say, aha, uh -huh, our process is measure somehow measurable. We have some kind of control. So this, this turtle model um, is, we can somehow translate it to this model. So to the CPOC model. So uh, supplier, it's somewhere here. Actually supplier will be another process. So the same turtle, similar turtle, giving us output something that will be an input for this process. And then actually the client will be another process which will take the output as an input to their process and so on and so on. So this is kind of chain of processes. When we come back here to this model, <clears throat> so we can say the process, it will be the set of activities. So it's like, for example, station one, station two, station three, station four. And we have um, some machines here, here that are, um, that are uh, assembling uh, the spring to the plastic part in four steps. So the what will be these machines. Then who? There will be the people. The people that are standing at these machines and they are working at these machines. So these are the who. How will be the knowledge, the know-how, how the people are doing it actually. And then the KPIs will be all the parameters and all the <clears throat> steering um, string factors and indicators to let the process run smoothly and to control it. Input is here. Supplier is the previous process. Output is here. Client is the next process. This is the definition of process. You will find uh, a link to the definition in the description and we will see each other next time. We will talk about a bit more complicated stuff. So take care. See you next time.